I'll grind them into dust. What a goddamn pain. She knows there is a place she must go. But she doesn't know where. She needs to know more if she is to reach her destination. Her lack of knowledge is daunting, so she spends her days aimlessly wandering the streets of ruined cities. Finally, she comes across an old, tattered book. It is a valuable source of information in this lost and empty land. Yet, ages of exposure to the elements make deciphering its blurred images and letters all but impossible. But just as she is about to set the book down, a small bird tumbles from the top of a nearby tree. It appears to be badly injured. Its wings are uneven, and blood is smeared across a gap in the poor creature's feathers. It wriggles and flops in the grass, desperately trying to move its injured wing. It is painful to watch. After a moment, the girl speaks to the bird. Is there somewhere you want to go? The bird chirps quietly, as if in response to her question. Let's get this slaughter show on the road. What a goddamn pain. More of you come to die? I'll grind them into dust. Oh, come on, just die already. What a go. 
goddamn pain. Let's get this slaughter show on the road. More of you come to die? Come on, just die already. The girl has encountered an injured bird on her journey. It now sits in her palm, its gaze fixed firmly in one direction. The same direction it was attempting to fly. The bird clearly has a powerful desire to go there. The girl rips a strip of cloth from her garments and wraps it around the wing to hold it in place. Fortunately, the wound is not serious. It should heal in a few days with rest. This done, she places the bird atop her head. She still has no clue as to her destination. But with her own quest at a loss, she has decided to help the bird instead. As the girl stands, the bird begins to chirp incessantly. Something is causing it to panic. Spurred on by the bird, the girl rushes forward, only to hear a deep rumble close behind. An aged building has collapsed burying the tree where they had been resting only a moment before. You saved me, little bird, she says. The bird sings out in reply, creating a song that sounds almost boastful. I'll grind them into dust. What a goddamn pain. More of you come to die?
I'll grind them into dust. Come on, just die already. <laughs> More of you come to die? I'll grind them into dust. Oh, come on, just die already. Damn pain. The girl and the bird continue their journey. And while the empty city is harmless for the girl, it is a den of predators for the bird. One day, a starving beast blocks their path. It's time to repay my debt, thinks the girl as she readies her spear. She nimbly feints an attack at the beast. Startled, it bolts off deeper into the city. But as it does, she feels a piece of cloth flutter down past her eyes. It is a piece of her clothing, the one she used to wrap the bird's wing. Something is wrong. My head feels lighter. The bird. After frantically looking around, she spies the little bird flying raggedly toward a particular building. Though its wound is not yet healed, it summons some inner reserve and flaps with all its might. So that's where it wanted to go. She follows her companion to the building. Once there, she slips through the broken entryway and ventures inside. Let's get this slaughter show on the road. More of you come to die? Come on, 
Just die already. I'll grind them into dust. What a goddamn pain. Come on, just die already. I'll grind them into dust. Oh, come on, just die already. The girl follows the energetic beating of the bird's wings to its destination. The quiet space is filled with song. And there, in the middle, is a small nest. The bird had been heading home. A tightness settles in the girl's chest at the sight. She is alone. She has no family, no home she can return to. Her pain grows as she watches the little bird warble happily in concert with its parents. I need to find my own destination now. She gives the bird a small wave and turns to leave. But before she can take another step, she suddenly realizes where she is. Wait, this is a library. Uncountable shelves line the walls. Each one is filled with books in perfect condition. Books with legible writing. If she can somehow get a grasp on the local language, she might be able to learn where she is. She reaches out a single trembling hand and rests it on the spine of a tongue. Her new traveling companion has given her a most wonderful gift. She withdraws a book and opens it gently, her mouth twisting into a slight smile.